Sony Band is doing a great job of supporting Days Gone with updates, like during the pre-release period we already had 4 updates and now we got update 1.05 that fixes some issues but they also let us know that they are working on the more important things that are kinda wrong with the game right now. So let's talk about that in this video, a like would of course be super appreciated and let's go. Over on the official Days Gone Reddit, Sony Band put up some things that they fixed in this pretty small 130 MB 1.5 update. There was a streaming issue in certain locations and some players experienced a crash when booting up the game. So yes, that of course sucks, well luckily they looked into that and that has now been fixed. I had no issues with this myself, but of course we all have issues with the frame drops. Especially when riding on your bike, like when you upgrade your bike and can go faster, then the game cannot really keep up with you. And I'm even playing on a PS4 Pro and running into these frame drops, so I would imagine that it's even worse on a regular PS4. Well, good news, because Sony Band is working on overall optimization for the game, so that is really great to know. Like I mentioned in my review, my biggest complaint is really the frame drops, so if they are able to fix that, that would be really awesome, so let's hope they figure that out. They also hope to have a fix soon for the dropped audio issue. So if you're having problems with the audio that is dropping out or being muted all of a sudden, then they note that you should equip the Devault exhaust to your bike because that seems to be causing the audio issues. So if you switch back, then you should not have them for the time being. So that is nice to know, but of course they're working on a fix for this ASAP as well. And I really think it's good to see that the developers are getting out there and communicating about these patch notes. I will of course keep you up to date here on the channel. When a new update drops, I will let you know all the info. And when we know more about the upcoming events and fixes, then I will let you know here as well. Because we of course already know that there is free DLC coming to Days Gone as well. I'm working on more tips and tricks videos in the meantime. Glad you liked the first two videos, but there are way more coming your way. Of course, if you find something cool in the game, hit me up in the comments of this video on Twitter at Your Raptor or Instagram Your Raptor as well. Subscribe to stay up to date for everything Days Gone, like the video to support the channel. And by the way, cool news, because Days Gone is selling really, really well. This is at least in the UK as far as we know so far, because it was just 27% under God of War in the first week. And God of War is of course a major franchise already and got a ton of amazing scores like tens across the board while for Days Gone that has been significantly lower. Like I don't agree with those scores as you saw in my review but they are out there and of course Days Gone is a new IP as well so I'm really curious to see how it sells in the rest of the world but it's already cool to see that in the UK the game is like even beating Mortal Kombat that of course released on multiple platforms. And Days Gone really deserves it, so let's hope they fix the technical issues and then it's even better. I will let you know when we know more. Check out my previous videos, for example, on the best weapons you can already get early and the best skills in the game that you totally want to unlock. For now, I'll speak to you next time and goodbye.